what's going on everyone so i am here because i wanted to review the comments and that video i posted yesterday because i wanted to hear all of your thoughts about what the updates were like what's been going on i had plans to do a different video today but then i started seeing the comments roll in and i wanted to talk a little bit about them and just go over some of the comments that you all left behind as well as my own thoughts on eternal evolution so uh, let's just dive right in and head on over to the comments here that i had on my previous video basically what i asked was hey what do you all think about the new twilands what do you think about the new systems what do you think about this update because what i've been feeling is all of the recent updates that we've gotten we're all like fine decent nothing like too crazy nothing to really complain about but they always seem to miss the mark and the way they miss the mark is by not actually providing something that the players are excited about and that is a really key factor in not keeping a lot of your player base around is if every update is just like oh yeah whatever it's just like okay cool more of the same but you don't have that like killer instinct that really exciting thing that makes everyone like oh dang i gotta log in i gotta play this then you're really gonna find a drop in players and for twilight lands that was this game mode it was like oh twilight lands is coming around i gotta log in i gotta make sure i'm doing my twilight lands because it is extremely worthwhile to go ahead and get all those rewards participate in the game mode and earn my way through and then this update came out which is like the first big twilight lands update that we've gotten since like they added the new chapter 16. and once again they have missed the mark and i'll just go through some of the comments here um i mean look the twilight Land supervisor needs to be fired okay and let's i'm not gonna call for anybody you know being fired but they're just not happy um they removed the limited tickets you know they were talking about how grinding so hard for these aren't worth it the stages are way harder and took away the limited tickets when they said they would add more limited tickets and more options to you know more ways to get them just a trash update bring back the old version and this is the start of me not playing anymore a dead game you know that's the best thing happened to e extreme pve which i agree i think twilight lands is actually the the best thing to happen to eternal evolution and i think that expanding it and making it more difficult is really good so i'm really happy about that but the fact that the rewards are pretty mediocre is pretty well mediocre um new stage is cool rewards are the worst part of this update you know um this person i found myself on the opposite side of your opinions big papa I, I know i've read some of your comments on this we are fully aligned there is such an odd decision overvalue the new currencies while at the same time not understanding what a typical player's account must look like at this stage in the game to push spot on new content drop fantastic rewards terrible and this just feels like every single update and to be honest it's 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 really just kind of sad you know um and i'm not gonna sit here and like continuously be sad about a revolution eventually you know there comes a time when it's like okay maybe maybe it's just maybe it's just this game is just losing too many players and they haven't really hit a good update etc and that's gonna be well it's a revolution we'll see i again i enjoy the daily grind which is really the sad part about this is like i enjoy locking in every day and doing my my twilight lands doing my um ancient altar doing my whatever it is but all of these updates the reasons why we push for more and more content just seem to be less and less exciting and every single person as far as i've spoken to about this update is saying the exact same thing which is hey these updates like they are good in concept and then you start reading into how they're implementing it and it's like oh they're adding a whole new summon system and because they're adding this whole new summon system they're taking away rewards that we were previously getting and then adding these new rewards and these new rewards are actually worthwhile to earn but also not worthwhile compared to what we get before and then they come back and they're like i have, we apologize blah 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 and not every time but even the last time they did this like we apologize for the triple s away or sp awakening system we're going to add more ways to get sp characters and more ways to generate resources and then you know we get these updates where it feels like they're doing the opposite of that which is you know they're they're taking away a few things and not making our efforts worthwhile and this just seems to be the back and forth for about well the last six months or so 
And I know people, some people disagreed at the time and some people, you know, maybe even some people disagree at this point, but these are some of the major issues that I have with eternal evolution. And at the end of the day, one of the big things is we're not going to see any real change unless we explicitly mention to them, Hey, like, I think that this Twilight Lens update is pretty mediocre, pretty poor. And I think that you should be readjusting how you look at some of the ways you're implementing these updates. Not to say that the expanded stages are bad. Again, the overall content in general has been good. Like it's been fine. Like you should have new content entering the game, new characters, whatever it is. All of that is fine. But having these constant updates where they just miss the mark really ends up in a situation where you just have people leaving the game over the course of time. And that's exactly what's happened uh, for people in Eternal Evolution. It's exactly what happens to people in my guild. And we end up in this spot where, well, we are all kind of just waiting for the next update. And I'm hoping that they're going to see this and that they're going to adjust these rewards. This is the first time that Twilight Lands has been, you know, really expanded, of course. And, and, and the first time we're seeing these different reward structures. So if they change it, then, you know, they change out epic runes for mythic runes, or if they change out, you know, the tempering materials and random gems for like limited cards and gene hybrids and things like that, then we could see something different. But then there's the whole nother issue. And this is, I guess, less so because I, I still think that you should be creating content for everyone. Um, but there's also a, a definitely merit to be creating content for the people who are at the top of the game. But every single update is almost exclusively for the people that are like the top 1%. And maybe, you know, there's people in the comment section be like, yeah, you're not the top 1%. I'm the top 1%. Like I am the ultimate player in the whole world. And you know, all this stuff. That's fine. In terms of PVE, the people who could participate in chapter 17 and the people who could do the new stages of Katoshin Triangle, they are the top 1% of players inside the game. And unfortunately, that's like just not a lot. And so no one's really actually experiencing a different version of the game or any advantages to these changes. Now, I will say with the Twilight Lands, the earlier stages actually um, did change a little bit, but they removed the limited cards and replaced them with gene hybrids. So it really depends on kind of how you look on how valuable those earlier stages are. But we're not seeing any changes or advantages or gameplay differences for the earlier players, with the exception of obviously the new characters that people have access to, which kind of make it easier for that earlier game content. But there's no engaging or no i guess reward expansion or, or acceleration given to these earlier game players so it's twofold for that or i guess for these reasons and i think the bigger one is that we just need something that's exciting um we need something that's exciting and we need something that people can participate in i mean heck even you know some of the comments like doesn't really matter what the rewards are in chapter 17 above because 95 percent of players won't be able to finish it absolutely correct i mean less than 95 percent of players aren't able to finish it like most players i mean what like the top 20 or 30 in my server are even in chapter 17 much less finishing it um i don't even know if any i think one person or maybe two people have finished it on my server chapter 17 that is um and so you know I would just love to see everyone be able to engage in something that's actually extremely exciting. Uh, the last time we had something that people, everyone could engage in were the collab events. And uh, unfortunately for us, the last collab event was just, well, a repeat. But the one before that was, uh, it was a repeat, but worse, I guess I should say. It was a repeat, but worse. They, they changed the things, they did the things that we didn't actually like, and then did more of the things that we didn't actually like. So we are really just in a place where we just need something that is exciting for people to be excited about playing Eternal Evolution coming back to the game. But that's just kind of my two cents today. I wanted to make a video on it because a lot of you dropped comments about this and a lot of you had a similar thought process. And so I wanted to voice my concerns and talk a little bit about your own concerns as well and some things that we are kind of just in need of so i hope that maybe the developers will listen to this and, and maybe make some adjustments to the leader twilight lands rewards but we will see we will see thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one